objective for this micro lesson is that learners will use reading skills to understand and interpret an opinion and to understand informational text and also to inform learners that an opinion is the way that you may think about something. The instructional event used for this activity is to stimulate background knowledge and to introduce new knowledge to the learners. The technology tool you added to the warm-up is an online opinion page from USA Today and starting a discussion which is an interactive instructional tool. The technology used for this warm-up acts as a direct tool substitute with functional improvement. Okay class, we will do our do now activity and it is to discuss these essential questions. And the first question is, what is an opinion? Oh, let's look at what is opinion. What is an opinion? Yes, an opinion is a way you think or feel about something. Notice, one says, I like to slide the best. The girl says, I like to swing the best. Now we said that an opinion is what? Yes, it is the way a person feels or believes or think about something. In other words, what makes opinion true or what makes it real or what makes people want to really feel about it? Let's look at it. Okay, most opinions will not necessarily have facts, but what will they have? Yes, most opinions are supported by what? Specific reasons. All right, ask you another question. Who can have an opinion? Oh, yes. Let's share some simple examples of our opinions. Let's look at this one. Ice cream is a great dessert. How many of you have that opinion? Oh, yes. Just about everyone. Consider ice cream, have an opinion, ice cream is a great dessert. Let's look at another one. Peanut butter causes allergies. Oh, what's the reason for that one? Yes, some people develop allergies from eating peanut butter or products that have peanut butter in it. So, many people have an opinion that peanut butter causes allergies. Let's look at another one. I like steak best for dinner. Oh, why do you like steak best for dinner? Yes, it tastes good. Good meat. Ah, that's a good one. 
class. What did we say that makes an opinion most convincing? Yes, specific reason or reasons. Okay, we say when opinion is supported by specific reasons, that's one of the things that make it convincing. Now we will review and read an opinion article in the newspaper, USA Today. The article is, Lower the Voting Age to 16 for Federal Elections. Teens should have a voice on federal elections. All right, we're going to look at US Today opinion page. Can I get two volunteers to read the, the opinion page? And then after the, they read the opinion page, then we will look at the reasons why the author or the writer is saying that we should lower the age to 16 for young people who attend teens to vote. All right, the opinion, lower the voting age to 16 for federal election. Today's talker from USA Today, published 3.31 p.m. on March the 18th. And it was updated at 7.24. Now, we're going to look at what it says. When teenagers are contributing to society or being held liable by it, they should also be able to weigh in, argues David D. LaFonte. Connect tweet link. These are the places that it is. Connect tweet linked and com comment mail more. All right. Listen, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said at her weekly news conference on Tuesday that she favors lowering the voting age to 16. Teens should have a voice on federal elections, according to David D. LaFonte. All right, this is the article here. Okay, have two people to read. All right, thank you for reading. Now, class, what evidence or reason or resource did the opinion writer use to validate his opinion that teens should have a voice on the federal election? Okay, this is one of the reasons. What is it? Yes, in the 1960s, the country asked itself, that if young men can die in Vietnam, then shouldn't they be trusted with the rights to vote? Ooh. He's saying we should ask ourselves this. Reason number two, that if 16 and 17 year olds can contribute to society through work and face the criminal justice system as adults, isn't it only reasonable to allow them the right of self-determination through voting? Ooh, that's really good. Now, what is the opinion from these reasons that the writer gave? Oh, yes. When they are contributing 16 year olds what's that society and what else being held by society in these ways they should what be able to weigh in on the future of our country and those responsible for the laws that affect them how many of you feel like at 16 you have an opinion that you should be able to vote.
students, you will read an article, another article will the right major get you a job. And then for homework, you will write an opinion on getting a job after graduating or leaving college. Thank you for participating in our warm-up, Dr. Z.